I love this game. Going fishing, playing golf, stay home playing domino. I'm, I'm tired of it. I need to go back in that field. I'm not a lawyer, I'm not an architect, I'm not a doctor, I'm a baseball player. A baseball player belongs on the field. Should have been there by now, two hours before game time. <coughs> Nobody practice today, so. Well, I was in New York, and uh, I think that was the biggest mistake of my life, going to the Mets, because Bobby Cox knew how to use me. I, I went to New York, and sometimes I spent a month on the bench without getting that bat. And at my age, you bring me the ninth inning thinking about it, you, I'm gonna drive in you the winning run, and you stick me on the bench for 20 days sometimes, 15 days, 30 games, without a bat, it's not gonna happen. Every day is a challenge to come out and play. Don't think you're gonna get up and you're not gonna feel something that hurts. It doesn't matter if you're 25, 26, 27, it's not the age, it's the punishment that you put on the body you played with so many guys. Do you think some of them walked away from the game and regretted it? Some of them walked away from the game, even discouraged, or they didn't love the game, or injuries. They wish they would never get hurt because they want to continue playing. Here's Julio Franklin. You sign this for us? You got to take it out. You yeah. got to take it. That's the rule of autograph. You got to take it out, have the marker ready. On the field, baseball is baseball. You have to perform to a certain set level to be a Major League Baseball player. It doesn't matter what, uh, how old you are. If you're gonna go to that play, you need to get on base. If you got a man on third base, you need to drive him in. It's the skills that matter, not the age. <laughs> Why stop doing something you love? Something that you can still bring something to the game. Why go home? You know how many people want to play baseball in this world? Why quit? I knew that Julio loved to play baseball. I knew he had a real passion for the game. And when I checked out all the records that he had and over 4,200 professional hits and that he was a five-decade player, I thought, man, this would be really cool for him to come back. The idea to some degree was a promotional idea to bring Julio here. But the more we talked to Julio, I think a light went off for both of us. When the Philly came up to me first, I was in eighth grade, they come to my mother and said, we want to sign him as a professional baseball player. And she said, what does that mean? And she said, well, we're going to sign him and he has to go to the United States. And she went berserk. She said, no way. There is no way I'm going to send my, my, my kid overseas. And uh, my older brother explained how it was, and here we are. And it wasn't much for the money. Even when I signed, when I was a, a, a major league baseball player, when we play, it works for the love of the game. The money's always going to be there, but when you walk on the field, wow, hey, this is it. The smell of the grass, the crack of the bat, the fans, the running the bases, sliding, and getting dirty. That's what you love. If you ask anybody what drives you in sports, it's just competing. I mean, we play, we break the double play. It wasn't nothing personal. It was the game. It's how we play the game. You get, you get drilled, it's fine. You hit a home run, you get drilled. That was the game, I'll get you next time. That was, that, that's what drives you. I miss playing. I miss going to spring training. Because that's what, after the season is over, you go home, take a month off, but you're looking forward to go back to spring training, to see the boys, what's with your families. You spend more time with your teammates than you do with your family. You eat together, you play together, you're on the plane together, you see each other every day. I mean, you argue with each other. You miss those things. And when you play for so many years, and over the sun you says, it's over. That's the hardest part. That's why I want to be around baseball. I'll tell you why, that was the best place to go to baseball. Hey, cuz, remember in, 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 in 96, 97 when I was there. That was great years. Oh, yeah. Remember the beer night? Oh. They had to cancel it. Yeah, yeah, I did. Stop texting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fans were throwing beer on the field. The they beer wouldn't night. get off. <laughs> <laughs> Good old day, Johnny. Remember, I took the bucket of balls, and he said, hey, where are you going with that ball? I said, who are you on Watson? And you look, you said, man, get up, get up, get up here. <laughs> Leave them balls there. <laughs> <laughs> this is a terrible.
take those balls over. I take home bucket. <laughs> take the home bucket home. I said, come on, take two or three balls. You take the home bucket. <laughs> Valentine, man, you were crazy. <laughs> Good old days, man. I'm telling you, baseball has been great to all of us. I never dream of being on the field to this age. The game will tell you, hey, it's over. All right. Go away. And eventually, the game wins. It'll win. Oh, believe me. I'm not betting against you. <laughs> You're a wise man. <laughs>